Exactly. And then from there, you're ready to move on. And the, the, it's just amazing. Do, who, when you talk to your fans, tell me some of their other favorite places they've told you about. Well, actually, we had a bunch of people send in uh, favorite places from all over the world. Uh, and they, brought, they sent some pictures in for a video we did last two years ago for okay. Earth Day. Okay. And uh, we got some beautiful pictures from all over the world, from the Philippines to oh, wow. Europe to, uh, you know, parts of the Midwest here in the United States. and, and Interesting. But I think you're bringing it a different way. And I think our audience out there never thinks about it. You know, we talk about the environment, the environment, the environment, but we don't talk about why we want to save the environment. Right. We talk about the dangers, but we don't want to lose that favorite place. And that's... Through your music and then through your songwriting, are there other messages you try to bring? That's one of them in the favorite place. Would you say any other things that so people can picture this and say, I need to get involved as a call to action in certain ways? Um, well, my other music, I, I've written a song on my first album called The Earth is Crying. In fact, Favorite Places is, is, takes you to another level from that song. But The Earth is Crying was personifying the earth and letting people know that the earth is crying for our love. Right. Um, but I have other music I've written basically about the kinds of things that we all experience in life and that we don't uh, necessarily find a way to voice. Exactly. That's just, that, that's just awesome. And I, I can't wait till you get to perform. And through writing, how long does it take you to write a song? Because that's something for our educational audience. Because we talk, we have lots of writers on the show. We have lots. We've had directors that just came today. Mm -hmm. But what about writing a song? How long does that take? Uh, some songs can take a little longer than others. But usually, when I a song starts with an idea, and I feel the idea circling around me a little bit, and then when I sit down with a guitar, I can usually come out with a verse and a chorus. Okay. Um, in the space of 15 minutes and then develop the song from there. Fabulous. And I, I think that that's it. And you have to be inspired. Yes. You can't just say, I'm going to write today. No, you, there's no, it's, it's not a linear thing. Right. And do you do any other writing because you're a songwriter? Do you write at all anything else like poetry or anything? Um, I did when I was growing up be before I intersected the writing with the music. Exactly. Uh, that's, that's, that's fabulous. And uh, what, so your ultimate goal, if you'd say the next two to three years, where do you want to see your music go? I want to be able to reach as many people as possible. I want to be able to go out and perform and share the music with as many people as possible. So where you mostly can be heard when you perform live? What places do you go? Well, we have a live show uh, here at the Park La Brea Theater here in Los Angeles on April 20th. Okay. It's, a, it's an Earth Day Fest. Oh, wow, okay. And that we're, that's going to be kind of a big show for us. And then we're going to be performing around Hollywood uh, the following month, and then possibly in Northern California the month after that. Do you want to travel more than just California with this message? Oh, yes. Uh, the, we're already touching people all over the world with it. I, I think so, and that's for places where they can find information to go and be involved, and this is go to your website. Our, the website, which is tjdoylemusic.com. Okay. Um, also, the YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash tjdoylemusic. Okay. And if they want to stay in touch with us, they can go to the Twitter account, with, which is uh, hashtag tjdoylemusic. And I think that I, I'm, I know you're excited to perform, and I'm excited to hear uh, what your, the, your songs. And I think that our audience out there needs to go and check it out because... I think that, again, you're bringing the whole Earth Day message. I could see you traveling all over the world doing this, starting here and going from there. How long have you been doing this where you're, you're going and performing and things like that with this message? Uh, for the last um, five years. Five years. Yeah. But now you have this goal that I want to go global. Yes. That's what it sounds like. Yes. And you're very concerned because of the lack of, I guess, awareness out there, too, that say, i got to do this now. I can't wait. Well, I'm more concerned for the people that that are missing this in their lives because it can bring a great deal of peace and harmony to them. Okay. Well, TJ, we're gonna. We're, I'm looking forward. We're gonna stop right here for a second, and then we're gonna get to hear TJ perform.